jammed to the roof of stuff. That's sweet. It's like a portable TV radio. Oh man, that's nasty. Wow. What is down here? Look at this. It's like another basement down here. Oh, that's creepy. What is down here? Hey, welcome back explorers. Today we're at an abandoned house. This place is just totally grown over. The front lawn has not been cut and is actually a forest growing in the front of this place. Can't wait to check this place out. This has been on my radar for quite a while. Um, I noticed there was a sign here a while ago. So they're gonna tear down this one and they're gonna build five to 10 new ones, probably starting at $2 million a piece. We're in, in a very nice area. Houses are very expensive here. So this one just sits here, neglected, abandoned. I could see the windows full of stuff inside. So I got a feeling this is gonna be a good one. So maybe it's a hoarder house. I love hoarder houses. I love places that have less stuff left behind. It's just very nice to see. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Yeah, right off the bat here, we're already jammed up with stuff. Stairs are clear, but it looks like every single room here so far is just jammed with stuff. The previous owner bought this house in 2016 for $1.4 million for land value only. The previous occupant was a hoarder and collector of mostly vintage electronics. The hoarding took place outside and inside the home. There was a number of complaints from the city and neighbors to remove all items from the property and inside the home as it was a fire hazard and eyesore. The former occupant ended up being evicted in 2021 and the house has been abandoned ever since. Fireplace back there, but it's totally buried here. This looks like a little dollhouse or something. We got like one, two, three, four, five TVs in here. Oh, wow. Look at this place. It's just like a little pathway. We got like PEX pipe there for plumbing. Computers, you name it. We got an old Tonka truck. Oh, some Apple products here. Nothing, it's an empty box. Here's a safe right here. It's definitely uh, locked up. That's a, that's a half decent size safe there. More TVs, screens, geez. I don't know if this was like a hoarder situation or storage. Maybe a little bit of both. Like we got wood, we got building supplies, all kinds of stuff in here.
This is the side door. It goes to a deck. Beautiful house. Like I love all the trim work here. This is all probably original oak baseboards and uh, window casings. I think this house is probably built. Looks like it's built in the 60s. We got some gold faucets there. Dehumidifiers, like this is craziness. Something was chewing on here. Ooh. Yeah, that's uh, probably what's going on there. What is that? 2018. That is nasty. What are these called again? Banjo? Ukulele? I can't remember. Little guitar? I forget, forget the name. Oh man, that's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. Nothing in the fridge, but in the freezer there's some stuff. I don't know why I opened those at the beginning of the explore because then I got to deal with the smell for the whole time. So this is the bathroom here and it's completely jammed with some stuff. I don't know what's going on in here. The mice are eating the toilet paper. That's old. Wow. We got high heels here. Jammed. Yeah, I think this is a bit of both here. I think it's like hoarding and storage going on here. There's the basement. We're gonna go check the basement out in a minute. I like to do the basement last. How do I get in there? I guess I gotta climb. This is nuts! Wow, more stuff in here. Look at the hat. Sombrero. a casino game. This is nuts. This is empty.
Yeah, this guy, I'm assuming it was a guy living here. Like, the amount of electronics here so far is just craziness. Maybe uh, he was a electronic repairman. Or he collected electronics. Who knows? But there's a lot of car parts in here as well. I think a lot of this stuff came from outside as well. They probably cleaned up the yard a bit and threw it all in the house. Because there's stuff that clearly needs to be outside that's inside. So yeah, the power has been cut here. What is this, a lamp? I've never seen this before. That's pretty neat. It's a lamp. Yeah, you can see the yard is just completely grown over here like it's a forest they stopped cutting the grass and now it's just like a, a forest out there all right this bathroom's somewhat cleaner than the other one This always concerns me when I see water here. So a lot of the time squatters will bring in their own water and use this house and just squat here. So this could be an active squatting house. So We're always going to be careful with squatters. It's a nice jacket. I like that. Oh, look at this. Remote control helicopter. This is a funny, funny story. I went to an abandoned house and I found one of these in the abandoned house. And I mentioned in my video that I've always wanted one. Like as a kid growing up, I've always wanted one. And a viewer of my channel, super nice guy, he, uh, he had two of them. And he shipped them out to me as a gift. It was really nice. And I still have them. It was really nice of him to do that. Yeah, this calendar says 2020, but squatting has been taking place here for sure.
Nothing. Like there's just bags of clothes too. Like you got a Halloween box here. Windows have been upgraded, so they did some upgrading here at one point. Yeah, these are just bags of clothes and curtains, pillows. I didn't get rid of anything. I love these things, but usually they're all blown up because of the freezes. Let's uh, take a peek in the basement here. And propane tanks in here too. Like that's not really safe, especially if you're squatting in here. I got a feeling this basement's gonna be just full of stuff. The upstairs is full. Oh jeez, look at this. Look at these shoes. These are nice. Box of National Geographic. Daddy, oh that's creepy. Daddy is not nice. See that? Like this is just jammed to the roof of stuff. Wow. What is down here? Look at this. It's like another basement down here. Oh, that's creepy. What's down here? Oh, this is the sub pump. The pressure relief tank there. Oh, look at this. Old camera. There's no film in it. It'd be interesting to develop the film. Again, we got like shelves and shelves of electronics in here. Wow, look at this stuff. Like skates, speakers, Like there's probably a lot of money worth of stuff in here. Look at this, an old TV. That's sweet. It's like a portable TV radio. It's a Hitachi. Yeah, like why not sell all this stuff before you abandon it? Looks like an electric fireplace. 
So you got fake flames going in there. Yeah, like this is like, I think these are full, but I think they're brand new in here. DVD VHS combo. Yeah, he's definitely like a collector of electronics or repair guy. Yeah, I got computers, everything, everything is here. There's another little fake fireplace here. Yeah, yeah shop backs, vacuums, like we got everything. get out of the basement here. So hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. This place was just incredible. It was stacked with stuff from the floor to the ceiling. Like it looks like the guy collected electronics. There was so much electronics in here, just left behind, very expensive stuff. House is definitely gonna need some work, but I know they're gonna demol demolish this house and build some new ones. But let me know in the comments what you think of this place, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.